I got him off I the island. Go oh well. Lead the way. Home what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. I can take it from here. I'll get the pods your people need. Um, this is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. We are honored to meet a huntress such as you. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. I was on a riot. I was gonna go that way when I saw it. Just my, I don't think I can do anything, but I don't want to risk it. Especially since I'm not used to having, well, a uh, oxygen bar again. <clears throat> you have, you get the thing to breathe in the water for so long. It sucked.
And I want to mention this now as well. I got my plans of what I'm going to do with um, Resident Evil Revelation. So I'm going to go through the whole story pretty much as Claire first, because I played some of it. I've been playing a lot of the Rainbow mode right now just to get used to the, some of the controls, but um, the uh, looking at some of the story, I've played a few chapters. Looking at it, like I'll go through as Claire first, and then go through as her other guy. That's what I'm thinking. And so it'll be chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, then chapter one, chapter two, chapter three again. Machines over knowing I'm here. all the pods. Time to get out of here. Thank you. 
get back to Key with these. Entrance. I can make my way back to Riverhem from here. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be.
Damn you, cutscene. It's about to get a gold thingy shiny. So. Sunshine. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here. Pretty sure it was a bristleback corn, but. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. And then I'm gonna go back in there for some shit. Bristle bass, tusk, horn, whatever. Same difference. ready for a fight and instead found that you had already ended one. I wasn't alone. Your people are lucky to have Q leading them. Stubborn as weeds, that one. I'm just glad we're all back in Riverhem. For good, this time. May the land always bloom in your steps, Aloy. First bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. Now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating. Well, no pouch upgrades, but it looks like I got one of the outfits I want to do. But let's see, what do I have? 20 minutes in. Um, I'm gonna go back to plain song real quick to see what colors I can dye my outfits. Because I want to equip that look at least for this outfit, but I want to change the color first. Another rumor I don't really care right now. Oh shit, there's a bunch of side quests. <sighs> we'll go hear them out. But I'm not gonna, I don't, I might do them all. It's just gonna be every now and then. This is game to be so much, or takes so much longer to beat than the other ones. So she doesn't have what I want for that one, at least. I'd probably have to get to it the right one. This is what I used, that buff is actually what I've been wearing for quite a while. Wait a minute. Yeah. So we're gonna quit that one now. 
we're going to apply the look of that one. And then... You want my hmm. all right, side quest time just to talk about it. You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. How was Kalai chosen to join the chorus? The chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. The Rite of Discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the Promontory. The place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsong. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the Promontory itself. Joining the marks of those who came before. Every new chorus member used to make the journey. But because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to, but, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. What were Kalai's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain Song is dying. But Kalai believed we don't have to die with it. As the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plainsong and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll, please, later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yol. My people used to be friendlier, but hunger robs many of their kindness. Seems like there's a lot around here in short supply. Is there anything that can help? As Yul said, we need food. So much so that we've sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest in the north. We never used to hunt animals for food. We never had to. 
But as our crops fail, we've run out of options. But something else went wrong. A machine slaughtered the last hunting party we sent out. A Klostrider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it, more deadly than any we've seen before. Until it's gone, I can't risk more hunters, but without that meat, our people grow more lean every day. Without more food, how much longer can the tribe hold out? The land gods blight the fields more every day. A month? Maybe two? The maddening part is that many are resigned to this fate. Like Fane, who would have us simply wait to die. You heard him. Death is merely part of the grand cycle. But you'd rather do something? Yes, like send hunters to the old growth for food. Fane fought that idea too. He will undoubtedly cast what happened to the hunting party as another reason to side with him. If we let him. I saw you up there when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. The old growth must be made safe for hunting. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small patch of seeds. Given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old growth, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the Klostrider. Let's do Let's see. What do you say? You know what? I'm gonna start the quest with my old friend. I haven't gotten that campfire, I thought I did. Hmm. to wait for an opening. Care to 
join the hunt? Now the fun starts. Sunhawk Talana Kane Padish. Aloy despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone, a Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back, and now he's missing. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, Milu's your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize... The Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out of the door. And I'll get back to it. This... I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But... You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's 
It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battlefield's this way. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone who participated in the Red Raids. Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll we'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came. This is the field. Where the Tanakh slaughtered the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osram. It's too many to tell if Amadis is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were us around here? Hmm. Light prints. Not Osram, maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. Alrighty, so where the time is, I do not want to risk this going over with one of the boss fights I'm going to have to do real soon. Well, actually, I don't know how close it is, but I know it's at the end of this little quest line altogether. So, I'm going to be ending it here. I'd like to thank you all for watching, and we will see you next week when we talk to him. Peace out.